Right, so now we've reached the last lesson in the series. Prime numbers. How do we identify prime numbers? Now, I'm just using a very simple number line. Um, prime numbers are numbers with only two factors, one and itself. So only two numbers divide into a number like that. And that will normally be one or the number itself. So how do I identify prime numbers, for example, between zero and ten? So what I encourage the children to do, if they have to identify prime numbers, I want them to write the factors of the number under each one of them. So if I start here, zero um, doesn't have any number that divides into it. Um, one, there's only one number that divides into one, and that's one itself. Um, and then 2, the numbers that divide into 2 without the remainder is 1 and 2. The numbers that divide into 3 will be 1 and 3. The numbers that divide into 4 will be 1, 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 itself. Then the numbers that divide into 5 will be 1 and 5. Numbers divided into 6 is 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay, so now we can see 6 has got 4 factors, 4 has got 3 factors. Okay, numbers divided into 7 is 1 and 7. Numbers divided into 8 is 1, 2, 4 and 8. Numbers divided into 9 is 1, 3. 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 itself. And then numbers divided into 10 is 1, 2, 5 and 10. And now you look at your list and you go find... Numbers with only two factors, one and itself. So if we look at one, it's only one factor. We need two factors, one and itself. So here we have one and itself by two, one and itself by three. So this one is a prime number, that one is a prime number. Here we have three uh, factors, so this is not a prime number. We call a number with more than two factors a composite number. Okay, now the next one, 5, it has 1 and 5, 1 in itself, so this is also a prime number. Then 6 has got 1, 2, 3, 4 factors, so that means this one is a composite number. 7, 1 in itself, so 7 is also a prime number. 8, 1, 2, 4, and 8, no, this is a composite number. This one, 1, 2, 3 factors, composite number, 1, 2, 3, 4 factors, composite number. Right, so now we have composite numbers are numbers. Numbers with more than two factors. And, and if you go look into your DBE book, you will see <clears throat> that you have a, a table like this from number one up to number 100. And the, the prime numbers are listed and um, highlighted or shaded. So you will see all the prime numbers between 100 and one, and one which are prime numbers meaning they only have two factors, one and itself. Right, so now I want you to take out your DBE books, and I need you to do the homework on page 84 to 85, number one to two, and then, if you can, green shoots, brain quest four. Thank you for listening. I hope you understand the work. Remember, you can go back um, on the video to just to um, listen again to an explanation. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.